Spin Firearms here, and today we're gonna compare the Taurus G3C to the Stoger STR9C. We'll start off with size comparison. When it comes to the size, here we'll do it like this. The Stoger is gonna be a bit longer because the Stoger has a 3.8 inch barrel, whereas the Taurus has a 3.26 inch barrel. When it comes to the length of the grip, they're going to be pretty darn similar. The Taurus may be a little bit longer, but the Stoger holds 13, so the Stoger wins on that, and the Taurus holds 12. A major thing, though, a major thing is the Taurus G3C comes with three 12-round magazines made by Metgar. Metgar makes the best magazines in all the firearm industry, so you can't complain there. That is huge for a firearm performing. Whereas the Stoger comes with one lousy 13 round magazine and it doesn't seem like it's the best quality. And to be honest, I've been looking for the Stoger 13 round magazine and you cannot find them anywhere. Um, because of the fact that they only send one mag with it, everyone is trying to buy more magazines and they are just running out of stock. I've been told three or four months until I can get another one. Um, I really do like the way the Stoger looks. Um, the sights right out of the box are very nice. And I was very surprised. This has like zero recoil. It has front serrations, rear serrations that work great. Let's just show you that it's clear. Okay. And to be honest, the trigger pull is nice. It's not super light or anything. It's just crisp. It's audible. And it works. It's nice because it takes down just like a Glock. You have take the takedown lever right here, and everything just runs on this firearm. I'm not going to lie, I had a failure to feed um, my first time running the firearm, but my problem was when I went to um, send that load in, I just used the slide release instead of actually sending that round home. So that could have been on my end, but since then I've had zero issues. This firearm has been a great budget firearm and has ran every round flawlessly. I also like it has a rail so you can mount whatever you need. So this can be definitely a home defense firearm, but it's still short enough and still functions reliable, with reliable enough to carry it on a daily basis. So this can definitely be a carry firearm or a home defense firearm. I'll show you that trigger one more time. Very nice trigger in my opinion. And this firearm is about $280 to $300. But once again, only one magazine. So you're definitely gonna have to buy a couple more right away. Now let's get to the Taurus. This is a firearm that is one of the best selling firearms on the market right now. And a lot of people love it. The Stoger has zero um, manual safeties. It has a trigger safety, a drop safety, those kind of safeties that are in almost every firearm. Whereas the Taurus has a manual safety on this model, but you can also get them now without that. Um, it doesn't get in the way. Um, I've had zero issues with that. This also is taken down like a Glock with the takedown lever. Um, one thing I will say about this firearm that's nice is, like I said, the three 12-round Metgar magazines and the sights. Even though you have a blacked-out rear, it still makes for a nice sight picture, and I can definitely dig them. The problem with the Taurus G3C to me is that the take up is very long. It is an audible break, but even that reset is a bit too far for me. I do not shoot it the, as gray as I shoot the Stoger. It's still a great, reliable firearm. I've shot about 1,200 rounds through this G3C and about 2,000 through my other G G3C, and it has been perfect. Zero issues. I would carry this. If this was my only firearm, I would definitely carry this. I love taking this to range and just shooting it, plinking with it. Although I will say what I noticed while shooting it is the trigger. The trigger is a much harder trigger to run fast and accurate. Because of all that take up, When, when you have to pull that far before the shot can break, that's when you are winging a shot. That's when, when you go to pull the trigger, you slightly move the firearm. 
you know, obviously if you're used to it, you're going to have zero issues with it. But that is a potential when you're learning to shoot a firearm, something that's much harder to use because you're going to wing it. That's what I see happen at least. And like you just saw, it does have restrike capability. So if your firearm, I mean, if your bullet does not go off, you can pull that trigger again. It is long, but, and pretty heavy, probably six, around six pounds. But at least you can shoot that round if you have an issue, a light primer strike. You can send it home again and hope that it goes off. I love the memory pad grip that they have on here. It feels great. It's not too rough. It's about just right, I would say. And I also love having a spot for your thumb to go against that recoil. Um, it, this gun runs from about 250 to 280 depending on where you get it. So they are very similar in price. And to be honest, even though I like the Stoger trigger pull, I like the sights, the front serrations, the rail, so many great things about this firearm, I'm taking the Taurus. The reliability on this firearm has just been unbelievable. It has been shocking for the price that it goes for, just how reliable it is. That's why I have two of these, because I just love it. Um, I don't carry it that often, but I definitely take it to the range every time I go just to get some shots off. Taurus has really stepped up their game, and it has made me, honestly, a proud Taurus owner. Just like I'm a proud Glock owner, proud Springfield owner, proud Smith & Wesson owner. Taurus is really making a name for itself with these budget firearms, um, and that's allowing a lot of people to carry that may not have the money to get a firearm, but now they can get a firearm that's reliable, they can protect their home with, their kids with, themselves with, and just know that that firearm is going to go bang every time. So if you can live with the trigger, by all means, get the Taurus G3C.